This is Chippy at IDF 2010 in San Francisco. We have uh, this uh, for this week actually, we're going to do a lot of testing on this. The new Aspire 1 D255 with the Atom N550 dual core CPU, 1.5 gigahertz uh, dual core CPU with hyper threading. So let's uh, tell you a little bit about the device. It's a standard uh, netbook, Windows 7 uh, home starter, 1 gig of RAM. Yeah, as I said, the N550 processor, pretty lightweight, about 1, 1, 1, 2 kilos. Standard ports there, Ethernet, Kenston lock, USB, mic, headphone, SD card, and on the other side, of course, VGA, uh, power, and a couple more USB slots. Fairly small uh, looking battery, I think it's about 49 watt hours, and uh, nothing else, no access ports on the bottom for RAM upgrades or 3G or anything like that, which is a shame. Shiny top actually looks pretty nice, uh, typical kind of Acer shiny stuff. Let's uh, open it up. Keyboard is island style, really quite nice. Flush mouse pad, single mouse button, left and right, also quite nice. Um, let's just switch that on. Uh, there's a web camera on here as well. It's 1024 by 600 screen, glossy, quite high brightness, uh, which isn't too bad. And uh, let's just show you a couple of uh, bits of information about the PC. So there's the Windows in index score, 2.9, as you can see, N550 CPU at 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, dual core. So I've done a quick bit of testing on this and Acer unfortunately have installed a load of software on this. There is 80 processors running on this device when I booted it up which is huge. It's about double what there should be on a device like this. This is Windows Home Starter. But uh, having said that, I'm doing a little bit of uh, power testing here and it's looking pretty good. It's actually idling down really well to around the 4 to 5 watt uh, mark with Wi-Fi on which is actually very, very good. Uh, and if we look here, we've got a uh, medium screen brightness, got Wi-Fi on, there's some stuff running in the background, Chrome, TweetDeck, and I'm averaging 6.8 watt uh, drain, which is gonna give me around, well, uh, at the moment we're showing five hours, 49 minutes left on s with about 40% used. So this is a 10 hour device. Uh, if you push it hard, if you're gonna do video stuff on this, then it's gonna be a six to eight hour device, of course. Uh, but for most people that are just browsing, YouTube, this is really, really good, very efficient. Um, so I'm gonna be using, the, using it this week for video, for blogging, and for other bits and pieces. So uh, let's see how it goes. This is Chippy at IDF 2010, and the music's starting, so I have to stop. Stay tuned to carrypad.com for more.